Hey, what's up everybody? Um, quick video. Uh, so I recently updated my iPhone 6 to my iPad Air 2, the iOS 9. And I know I was reading about an ad blocker. So, quick video showing you how to block ads for, I'm sorry, block ads on your phone or tablet or whatever running iOS 9. So for starters, you have to install the app called Peace. All right, now no, this isn't a web browser in itself. It actually works hand in hand with Safari. So first you wanna to navigate to the app store and type in peace. That's all I typed in. Navigate to the app store, type in peace. It should be the very, very first one. All right, now this app was $2.99, but it's definitely worth it and I'm gonna show you why. So when you first install the app, you need to open the app up and it, um, you can, let me go back, I'm sorry. Um, when you first install the app, you open the app up and then you see where it says how to install and it's like really simple. So you could test the installation after you, if you think you have it installed and then it'll tell you, right now it's not installed, all right? So you have to enable this, enable this in the settings in Safari. So let's go here, let's go home, let's go to settings and let me out of focus. All right, so we're gonna scroll down to Safari. There you go. And then we're gonna to go to Content Blockers, right here. And you see Peace right here. So it is gonna work with Safari. So you turn it on. And now that means the ads will be blocked. All right, so we're gonna go over to Peace. We're gonna test the installation to make sure it's working. And there we go. It's working perfectly. I mean, properly. So now that it's working, let me um go back to the settings. And I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to load a page. All right. So let's go to the web browser and let's go to um bbc.com. So let's try this website and let's go here. All right. So you see the ad pops up right there and maybe some more around here but you definitely see that ad and it actually loaded pretty fast the ipad air 2 is actually pretty quick um so you see the ad now on top of the speed increase you get from enabling um the ad blocker it saves you data so if you don't have unlimited data it definitely saves on your data because some pages have like megabytes you know 10 15 megabytes of ad content to load so you saw the ad load now Ooh, i'm sorry Let's go and um, let's enable peace in the settings. So let's go here. All right, it's on. Now let's go back to the web browser and let's refresh. Okay, there we go. And let's refresh again. All right, so yeah, it took a minute the first time to start registering that you have the content blocker enabled, but you just keep it enabled and I mean, you can keep it on and go here all day. Um, let's try another website. Let's go to, first let's turn it back off and we're gonna go to, uh, let me go to New York Times. Let's go, let's go search it. All right. So New York Times, let's click on it. I think, it may, uh, okay, so here's NewYorkTimes.com. All right, here's the website. Now let's turn the ad blocker on and see what happens. There you go. You get a much cleaner page. It looks much better without the ads on here. Um, like so I think I want to say it's flash ads in specific, but um, it's it's a it's most websites. And I mean, like you see the page look way cleaner now. You know, I mean, you can look at it now and how fast they load it compared to when the um ad blocker was off. Let's turn it off. Let's see how it looked when it was on. I 
I mean, you see like the page loads, like the bar goes, but you have to load all this extra shit. So, um, yeah, I mean, it increases speed and it doesn't load stuff like this that's using your data. So, again, the name of the app is Peace. You can find it in the App Store. And it's $2.99. And um, and that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. Be sure to like the video, share it, whatever. Thanks for watching.